All right, everyone. So real quick, I wanted to do a video showing how to um, use Seamless Co-op with my mod, right? So you're gonna go to the Seamless Co-op page, download it, unzip it. This is what you're going to get, right? So the first thing though, is if you haven't launched Seamless Co-op since the game has been updated with your Seamless Co-op saves, it will throw a corrupted save file error, right? Because I just ran into all this and I just figured it all out and fixed it. So what you want to do is, is just like when you're playing, you know, normal Elden Ring and then modded Elden Ring, you got to do the clean save thing, right? Or at least that's what they call it in Bethesda modding. But so you want to create a clean save co-op save, right? So what you're going to do is copy these and you're going to paste them in your game folder and you're going to launch like you normally would, right? And then once once it launches, the game works, you go into your menu, you can shut the game down. Now we can get rid of this. Oh, right here. All right. And then what we're going to do is go in here, you're going to copy this. You're going to paste it into your mod engine folder right or you know my cheap version this is going to be what it looks like <clears throat> i have the field of view in here i'm going to add that on one of my next updates uh techie gave me permission a while back i just never added them um but anyway so for seamless co-op you're going to want these files in the locale file right so that's what's in here so you're going to open the any settings also, you're going to have to put a password in it when you do the vanilla launch, too, because if you don't put the password, it's going to kick you out the game. It's not going to work, right? So make sure your password's in the any. Um, then you're going to go into the Tommel, and you want to put uh, the name of the DLL file in, in a... Guys, a parentheses? I don't know what the fuck you call those, man. Quotations. Yeah, is that what that is? Quotations. Holy shit. But, uh, yeah, you're going to want to put it in there like that. Save. And then when you launch... I'm still trying to figure out why it does that. But, uh... Oh, that's... I gotta have Steam open. Yeah, for some reason, the, uh... The just field of view throws a signature error but the mod still works so I don't really understand what the fuck open you bastard all right now that that's open now we launch again So a couple things I just wanted to also go over while I have the mod loaded. Um, people were saying that the DLC items were not in here. Um, you lied because they're there. All of them, they all work. Uh, what do I want to show? Uh, somebody was saying that the uh, Dane's footwork was still broken. I call bullshit because I fixed it and I know I fixed it. Alright. So what's broken about that? Huh? What is broken about that? Not a goddamn thing. Um, as for the Securo Dash, I mean, I, I'm on the fence. I like it like this, but if you guys want me to speed it up, Depending on how many people actually want it or not, or maybe I'll just do a different version, I don't know. Um, 
I definitely have some tutorials that I'm going to do. I don't want to do any more big merging ones. I'm just going to show you guys how to, like, merge the files and how, like, the file paths are. So that way you, you know, can basically merge anything you want. But, I don't know. And, of course, I'm going to have more mods coming, too. So, uh, that's all I got. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Bye.